Hello folks, I just feel like I should do a short video for people coming to Bugs in a Jar Farm to talk about bugs and other denizens of the forest you might encounter here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Obviously, guys, if you rent a place, a tiny house, at a place called Bugs in a Jar Farm, I'm serving a subtle notice that you might encounter bugs at Bugs in a Jar Farm. You might encounter bugs. You might even see a spider. We have how many? Three species of snakes here at Bugs in a Jar. None of them poisonous. There are no poisonous snakes at Bugs in a Jar Farm. However, we have water snakes, garter snakes, and ringneck snakes. We love our snakes at Bugs in a Jar Farm. You might even occasionally see a mouse running around at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I just, <laughs> we take the good bugs and the bad bugs, and we love all of our bugs at Bugs in a Jar Farm. We do not use pesticides. We are all organic here. This, the place that I am trying to create here is a beautiful little pocket of nature. You can hear the songbirds. The songbirds eat bugs. That's what they live off of. So I just need to serve notice that if you are, if you're the kind of person who freaks out every time they see a bug, if you cannot handle a, an occasional mosquito or fly buzzing around, bugs in a jar farm is probably not for you. If you rent a tiny house anywhere in the woods of upstate New York, whether or not it's called bugs in a jar farm, you are going to encounter bugs and other forms of wildlife. It is one big happy family here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, but I'm, I'm just going to put it right out for the record. If you are the type of person who freaks out about anything in the loose category of bugs, spiders, snakes, and rodents. Uh, if, if any of those four freak you out and would ruin your vacation, I do not want to ruin anybody's vacation. These places are catered towards people who enjoy interactions with wildlife. Now I do provide insect repellent. Okay, so you are offered insect repellent and we have one screened in porch up here at Blue Dragon. So if you really want a screened in porch to keep out the bugs I highly suggest you choose Blue Dragon Tiny House for the screened-in porch. And as long as I'm on this subject, I want to also talk about cleaning. Uh, you will notice I do not charge a cleaning fee. There is no cleaning fee at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I am a one-man operation, you know, running three 
tiny houses, a community kitchen, a community bathroom. This is a big job for one person. I do not charge a cleaning fee. Please keep this in mind when visiting bugs in a jar farm. Again, like with the bugs and the rest of it, if you're the kind of person who takes a white glove and goes along windowsills, if you're the kind of person who turns on a flashlight and looks under the bed before you get in it at night because you're so terrified of encountering I don't know what, once again, bugs in a jar is probably not a fit for you. If you are an absolute clean freak, white glove person who uh, demands absolute attention to detail, then you should probably find a place that charges you a $65 a night cleaning fee. So please keep this in mind, but if you are a, you, you know, if you are a clean freak, you might not be happy at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I do not want any of my guests to be unhappy. I certainly make an effort to keep my tiny houses clean and to the best extent possible bug free. <clears throat> and that is the best I can do. Understand that Bugs in a Jar Farm is not the Weston Hotel. These tiny houses, I am catering to an audience of people looking for rustic, basic rustic accommodations. The draw here is the nature, the beautiful setting the birds, the nearby hiking trails and whatnot. I am looking for people who are looking for a back to nature experience in a basic, rustic, but I think beautiful accommodations. If this is what you're looking for, bugs in a jar, is a perfect fit for you. If you are looking for the Weston Hotel and the chocolate under the pillow, uh, again, you might want to reconsider a place called Bugs in a Jar Farm. <clears throat> and that is as honest and straightforward as I can be about the whole situation of bugs, cleanliness, whatever. Uh, so, I have done my duty. Hope to see you at our beautiful, <coughs> basic, rustic accommodations at Bugs in a Jar Farm soon. Goodbye.